What up, gang? We're gonna be uploading our first YouTube video today. For those of y'all that don't know me, my name's Royce. I drive a 2022 Static Accord. Hold on, let me flip the camera for y'all. So here's the Accord. Um, you see the fucking tuck in the back. Right now we're sitting on some BC Extreme Lows. We got them maxed out. The reason I'm tucking in the back um, is because I took out like, I took out the boots from the back with the locking rings. And then on the front, I also took off two locking rings, one from each side. So that's how we're sitting this low. But for those of y'all that don't know, I'm installing Swift Springs today. And if y'all don't know what Swift Springs are, let me show you. So these are Swift Springs. These are 50K, four inch springs, which basically means that the ride's gonna be mad stiff. Those are the front springs. We got some five inch, 46K springs for the back. I bought those off of somebody that has a static accord, just like me. I'll put a picture on the on the screen if I find one. And this is gonna be the first YouTube video of many. I got many plans for this car. Um, like, we're gonna just like go crazy with it. There's so much stuff I wanna do with this car. We're gonna go big tilt. We're gonna do hella crazy shit. And please ignore the fucking busted lip. Like I'm, a, I was just sick three days. Had to miss three days of work. I'm finally good now. Thank God. I wanted to install these springs for y'all, and for me too. I've been dying to get these on the car already. All right, so we got the front already on the jack stands. I was thinking about taking off some of these fucking plastics under here, cause we're gonna sit a lot lower. And I don't want to be just scraping on plastic the whole fucking time. Because I know it's going to sound terrible going down the road. So I'll see what I do now. All right. We got the driver's side wheel off. So this is what I'm running. A BC Extreme Low right now. You see they're maxed out completely. Missing the locking ring and everything. So I'm about to disassemble this real quick. I think I'm gonna take out the fender liners too, because um, as you can see, like they're getting pretty tore up and I'm not even that low. So once I get lower, they might even like, you know, they could get wrapped up in the wheel and shit like that. So nobody wants that. So we're gonna take those out. Are we about to take out these boots real quick and then the whole strut's about to come down. We got that boy Ronnie on the camera. The whole structure come down now. So I'm gonna be lazy and I'm not taking out the whole coil over. Nobody has time for that shit. We're just gonna fucking completely take, unscrew this shit, take it all the way down. A little bit more annoying, but I don't wanna take off the whole coil over. That's just too much of a pain in the ass. It's really not, it's just three bolts, but. I don't feel like doing that. So this is how we're gonna do it. Fuck. I thought they were gonna be way tight in there. It was not tight. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna take the fucking coil over out on the next one. Cause if I gotta spin some more shit all the way down this, I'm gonna fucking lose it. All right, so this is the OEM spring of the BCs six inches versus a four inch 50k and we're gonna put back we're gonna put back the locking ring that i took out from each one we're gonna put them back in since we're gonna be a lot lower now it really doesn't matter i'm gonna just throw them back in so i'm gonna come back while we install these so we got the spring in I'm gonna adjust the ride height when both sides are on. And, and I, honestly, when I finish the whole car, I'll adjust the ride height. But we're gonna see if we have to go higher or lower. But I think this should be fine. If not, I'll go just a little bit lower. I don't know what he's doing. No, I know what I'm doing, bitch. 
Okay, <laughs> there's no clue what he's doing. Alright. Damn, this shit clean as fuck, bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? That shit paint job crazy. <laughs> Damn. That shit's raw though, that, that paint job. Like it's got like some orange, some orange flake to it and shit. So we just had to fucking put some heavy duty force on this fucking locking nut because for some reason I tightened it to never take it the fuck off. I don't know why the fuck I did that, but we're back in the game. We're about to install this, this other front spring and then we're gonna move on to the back. I might have left it a little too high, but I'll just adjust the coil over either today or tomorrow if I have time. Uh, this is the other side's already dropped. We're gonna see how low it is now. Yeah, left it way too high. Fuck, man. Yeah, it stroke that thing. Hey, yo, what the fuck? All right, so we moving on to the back. About time. Some technical difficulties with the front. I'm not going to lie. Shit was a pain. But we're moving on to the back now. So I'm going to get this apart first. I'm going to get this wheel off. And the back should be way smoother than the front because it's just uh you know it has the bucket and then you just put the spring in so let's do that real quick so this is the back all i have to do is just remove this and then the bucket should drop down enough it's already like slack has some slack to it so it should just let me slip in the other spring and then i'm gonna zip tie it down because since the spring is shorter it i'm gonna zip tie it down so it doesn't fall out by any like random case so i'm gonna pick it back up when i do that all right we got the first spring in there i zip tied that shit down we're gonna move on to the other side as you can see it's fucking dark time it's never a 15 minute install it's always uh 25 30 so yeah we're gonna move on to the other side and then we gotta come back to the front because I left it way too high. I'm trying to sit about right here. So yeah. All right, the back is done. As you can see, it's pitch black. Never again. This is what happens when this is your first stance car and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And I do it all, no power tools and damn near by myself. Luckily I have some people to help me sometimes, but just a pain in the ass that's the rear ride height we're on a hill right now too so i'm gonna lower the front right now to sort of match the back and then we'll see how she sits all around once we're done i'm gonna pick it up then so i dropped it about i started off at two inches and i left it at half an inch so we'll see I'll fix the ride height tomorrow if it's too low or if it's too high still, I'll fix it tomorrow. So we're gonna do the other side. I'm not gonna show the other side. I'm just gonna show when it's done. So I'll see y'all there. Still sitting high, huh? <laughs> still sitting high. Look. Pretty. Nah, it needs to go a little lower now. Oh, oh. I'll fix it tomorrow, but I've been out here all fucking day. I can't go anymore. How's the back sit? And we're, wait, we're also on an incline though. We're on the hill like this. Yeah. It might go a little lower. What up, You
I already got the car on jack stands and everything. Um, we got it all disassembled right now. Both both sides are already off. As you guys can see, I took out the fender liner just now. Um, I plan on taking the bottom plastic out too, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna assemble everything first and then <clears throat> I'll figure out what I wanna do. So I think the last clip that you guys saw was me deciding if I wanted to take off the bottom plastics from under the car and the fender liners or something like that. Well, I ended up taking off both fender liners I took off the all the bottom plastics, all the plastics that were under the like the engine and stuff like that. I took those off and I realized when I was editing the video that I didn't even like show any videos of the car or anything. So this is how the car is sitting right now. Shout out Afraid of Drowning. Dope ass fucking brand. Um, initially, I thought we were going to sit a little bit lower than what we were before. I got the Swift Springs. Unfortunately, we're just sitting pretty much at the same height. Just the ride quality is a little bit better because, you know, the springs are stiffer. So we're not bottoming out on every pothole that we hit. But, I mean, it's sitting pretty nice, to be honest. It's tucking in the back. Still, like, the same tuck that we had. Um, I thought the front was going to be able to come a little bit lower with the 4-inch springs up front. But, yeah, this is how the car's sitting right now. Thank y'all for watching again. Stay tuned for the next YouTube video. Hopefully the next YouTube video we got, we have front tilt. That's the goal right now. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.